Hello everyone, we're going to talk about capital gains, okay? Capital gains. Boom. Subject of this video. I'm going to keep it very simple, very quick, and very dirty. Okay, let's use easy numbers. Oh, and before I get started here, we're not going to talk about depreciation. We're not going to talk about capital cost allowance, what are all those different things, guys. We're going to do a very neat and tight example so people get the concept of capital gains, okay? Follow with me. So let's use some numbers. Let's say a couple of years ago, you bought a property for $500,000, okay? You just sold the property for $600,000. All right, you bought it for five, you sold it for six. Help me with the math. That leaves us with $100,000 worth of profit, okay? So 100K, All right? So that's what you would have made. And again, I know you're saying there's legal fees. Guys, easy numbers. So $100,000. Now, capital gains is 50% of your profit. So in this scenario here, 50% of $100,000 is 50 K. So follow with me here. You buy it for five, you sell it for six, that's a hundred thousand dollar difference. Fifty percent capital gains on your profit comes down to fifty thousand dollars. Okay, now there's many many different tax advantages on how to make this go away. In the states there's the 1031 rule, right? 1031 rule. Where if this money, you know, if you get that $100,000, if you technically never get it, if you put it into a, an escrow, um, so on closing, you know, when you sell this property, as long as you never touch this money, you know, you put that in an escrow company, you find another property and it's within six months or so, and I'll do another video on that more specifically, but that's a way of saying, you know, you put that 100 towards another property within a certain amount of time and it's, it, it's held by the attorneys in the escrow company and you actually never get it then you never actually pay tax with it and you just keep rolling it like that. Okay, that's the 1031 rule in the States. I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on that one. But this in general is capital gains. And in Canada, there is no 1031, I wish. <laughs> so if you, make, you know, if you make money on your building, capital gains will come into effect. There are some accounting ways to kind of uh, lessen the blow, let's say. But in, in general, capital gains, 50% of your profit, again, you still made a profit, so it's bigger picture here, guys. Hope you liked the video. Ask us more questions if you want more videos. And uh, yeah, enjoy those capital gains. Bye for now.